You know, we think of textile waste usually as being post-consumer, which is what we wear and then we throw out. But actually, the whole way along the supply chain, textile waste is popping up. So the first place you're going to see it is in, in the factories, you know, at the manufacturing stage. These garments are being cut from blocks of fabric and around 15% of that fabric just ends up on the floor and is landfilled or incinerated. Um, so then further down the line again, notoriously, you know, the, the fashion industry is overproducing. So a third of what is produced is never sold, which is just an enormous number, I think. And they lie in, um, you know, outlet stores or uh, stock rooms for years, perhaps. Um, and in many cases, brands will, you know, actively destroy dead stock. Um, so that it doesn't come back onto the market through a third party. So the, these garments are being slashed, incinerated, burnt, um, just so that they don't make their way back onto the market, maybe at a lesser price or, you know, to, that would, in a way that would dilute the brand image or something like that. And then you come to post-consumer. So this is also something that, uh, that's not spoken about as much. Um, and each of these waste streams uh, need different processes. Post-industrial, the clipping waste from the factory floor, is very easy to recycle because you don't have zips, buttons, etc. Whereas when you come to a product level and you have your pre-consumer dead stock and your post-consumer, then now all of a sudden you have a lot of things to consider. You know, you've got buttons, zips, linings, all these added parts that need to be either removed or, or something before they go toward a recycling uh, option.